wanted to share a story with you that will provide some possible insight for inquiry. This story comes from, it's one of Dave Trotter. He is an author that has a lot of great, wonderful stories that are really great for creating context for some inquiry and insight. This story is about Jane Juska. Jane Juska was a retired school teacher. And one day she placed an ad in a small classified ad in the New York Review of Books. It said, before I turn 67 next March, I'd like to have lots of sex with a man I like. If you want to talk first, Trelope works for me. She got a lot of responses. There were a lot of clever and exciting things about what she did, the media she chose for start. You see, she didn't do the ad in the back of the magazines where you would normally find the men seeking women or women seeking men ads. It was placed in the New York Review of Books. She was a retired English teacher. She loved books and reading. She wanted sex, yes, but only with an intelligent man who also loved literature. So she let the search for intelligence dictate the media of choice. She wasn't just searching for sex. And as a result, she stood out in the media much more than she would have anywhere else. And that made her small classified ad unusual and daring. Of course, what she did alone was daring and just deciding to do it in the first place was the most daring thing. You see, Jane Juska was born in 1936. She grew up in a world without the pill, television, mobile phones, rock and roll, and social media. Women didn't even talk about things like sex. So Jane grew up, got married, had a son, and got divorced. And like all divorced women, that was supposed to be the end of her sex life. Missing it occasionally, but accepting the inevitable. Then she retired. And it became obvious to her that unless she did something about it, this was her future. This was how her life would end. She decided it was now or never. And she did something to change that future. After the ad ran, and she wrote a book about her experiences. It was called A Round Healed Woman, and it became an international bestseller. The, The experience transformed her life. The title refers to a Victorian description of a lady of easy virtue, a woman who would lay on her back so quickly she must have rounded heels. When Jane Juska placed the ad, she didn't know where it would lead. She just knew you only get one life, and she had one last chance, use it or lose it. She knew she had to disrupt things. She had to disrupt the inevitable of a future she didn't want. We talk a lot about disruption, but we don't really do much of it. Not really. We just do something slightly different. Nothing we can predict the out, we can't predict the outcome of. And what stops us from being daring is our fear of other people's opinions. Our clients, our peers, our boss, consumers. But as Jane Juska found out, public opinion doesn't really exist. We just think it does. Sure, some people were disgusted with what she did. There are always going to be people like that. But many more were curious and intrigued by what she did. Many women wrote to thank her. After they read the book, they realized that they weren't the only ones in a situation like that. This gave them the courage to transform their own lives and live before they died. I think that this lesson and this story of Jane Juska has a lot to to bring insights and not just around sex, but facing the fear of whatever stops us. And and usually that fear is not, and especially the fear of what other people think, it isn't there anyway. We learned that they actually weren't even thinking about it. And so what was stopping us, the fear, it was only in our head. I share this story with you to pose the question What would you do if you really didn't worry about what anybody else thought? If you weren't worried about failure, if you weren't worried about looking bad, appearing dumb, not being admired, what would you dare for? I'll I'll leave you to that inquiry. And again, this is one of those questions. The story of Jane Juska is one in the question that it offers you, never fully answer. I love this story of Jane. I think of it often. What would Jane just get do? Um, and constantly use it as a, as a filter to look 
in my impact in the world and what I'm doing and what I'm creating, how am I holding myself back, worried about what other people might think? All right, can't wait to hear what you see and what comes up for you. We'll hopefully can talk about it in our one of our upcoming coaching sessions. Have a great rest of your day.